that there are circuits for cognition that are more similar across species than many people think. Right. And so to give you an example of the kind of decision that we're interested in studying, um, I'll give you a couple of examples, um, and that we found to be really similar between humans and rodents. Um, one example is decisions that combine sensory information with prior beliefs about the world. Okay, so, so these are decisions that humans make all the time. I live in Southern California. If I wake up and it's cloudy outside, I have a strong prior that it will be a dry day nonetheless, just because it almost never rains in mm -hmm. Southern California. And so even if I see that sensory evidence of a cloudy sky, I probably won't bring an umbrella because my prior belief is telling me that the sensory evidence shouldn't worry me too much. Right. However, somebody who lives in London, for example, or even Rochester, might have a very different prior on the probability that it will rain, and they might make a very different decision, even in the face of the same sensory evidence, because the, the prior in other parts of the world and the country is that clouds mean rain. Right. So that's an example of a kind of decision that combines sensory e evidence with a prior belief. And we can recreate that scenario in the laboratory in a fairly straightforward way 